Hey everyone, welcome to the second part of this project. Yeah, I made this one error over here. Right here, this should be the less than sign, not the greater sign, because we do not have anything that is lower than zero. Uh, sorry about that. Alright, well, let's get started with this method right here. It's going to be a while. Alright, so we have to make a menu like what the cell cell, or not the store cell. So, uh, let's use try and catch. We use this to, uh, we, yeah, we basically use everything inside this method in here, but we change the options off, obviously. So, let's do this. Paste. Because you know that sometimes us programmers get lazy sometimes, so. Alright, well, now let's get on to business. So, let's sell banana. We sell cherry and th as a cancel button if you if the customer changed their minds. Alright, so we change this up a bit. So ants, KB the next byte. Change this to uh, it's not necessary to change this variable, it's in a different method. But I just like to have everything unique, in my opinion. So you don't have to do this way you just did right here. You can keep the CH right here and keep all these right here. Or, yeah, what I had right there. All right, so let's have a curly brace. Two curly braces, actually. Because we need multiple lines inside of this F statement. All right, if ants equal one. And also, let's... Let the user know that the banana, banana costs like two dollars. For cherry, it'll cost one dollar. Make space to make it look good. All right, looks good. Cancel. Yeah, looks good. All right. Well, now let's uh, say, do you want to buy this item? If you choose this right here, the one. System. I'll just type it out. Do you want to buy the item? I have another scanner object over here. Let's do uh, KB KB one equals new scanner. Okay. All right. Now we incorporate in here. Do you want to buy this item? It'll be a string variable, but we'll convert it to a uh, char in a bit. And also, the user has to answer either Y or N. So let's do uh, ants or A1 equals kb1 dot next line and let's, let's convert it all right we have to declare a variable char let's do a2 equals this is how we convert it remember we did it from a uh, last tutorial uh, it's not last tutorial but I made a tutorial over how to convert and stuff so uh remember you gotta use your a1 dot char at zero remember the computer reads or counts number from zero first so we have to use zero right here and then now we do another if statement inside of if so if a2 or e yeah e2 is equal to Uh, yes, or A2 is equals to capital Y, yes. And then it'll be another prompt or a question saying, how many do you wish to buy?
and make sure you have another scanner object scanner kb2 equals new scanner system dot in okay and then I made like before I start recording this video I uh, added uh, two variables dark global and they're set to zero because uh, the user haven't bought anything yet so that's why we set it to zero but if they buy anything then it won't be zero anymore so we'll be adding on to here to the zero so oh, where was I actually uh, all right here. all right you use X and that's for banana X is equal to new uh, no not new next and And then it'll, it'll be adding on to the zero right here. Okay, we did this right here. We're good. Okay. Okay. Let's see. All right, we're done with this part so far. Oh yeah, actually, you know, go. It goes back to the menu too. Let's do the same thing for here. Let's take this method off, or not this method. Uh, okay. Let's do the same thing what we did. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot to add something else too. Forgot to. Oh, never mind. Oh, we're good, we're good. I'm not sure we're not. Else if. If A2 is equals to no. I forgot about no. <laughs> But at least I remembered. A2 equals capital N. Alright. And then I'll go back to the pro section if you says if you answer no. Else and ballot output. I just make a double line actually, so oops. System dot out dot print line and valid and put. Go back to pro. Okay. Are we good? All right, let's do the same thing for ants too. So, um, let's do scanner KB. Basically the same thing. Let's copy and paste right here. Okay, now I have to change the variables. So what's the last one we declared? Uh, two, no, no, wait, yeah, two. All right, let's do KB three then. That's another string. Let's do A three. Let's be A four. It's a little confusing. <laughs> the numbers and stuff like that. A three. A three. A3, okay. A1, uh, let's do A3. Wait. Hmm. Yeah, A3. Wait. Ah, oh, gosh. It's supposed to be A4. Okay, we're done with this part. Instead of X, will be Y here. This will be KB3 or KB4. Yeah, okay. All right, looks like we're good here. So let's see if we have any errors. Okay, void check. Uh, what are we talking about here? Line 40. I don't have a catch. 
try. Oh, jeez, I didn't get... The, oh, okay. That, I copied that too, but I guess I didn't. Deception. E. Uh, let's go back to menu. Let's make this pro, actually. To make it convenient for people. Okay. Clear your screen. Okay. You cannot find symbol method next in it. Huh? Okay. Oh, I got one uh, mistake right here. 105. Forgot to change this too. Not fun symbol. What line fifty nine? X. Oh, forgot the KB. Uh, that's a dumb mistake. Where's the other line? Eighty seven. KB three. I don't know. KB four. See fifty. We see fifty nine again. Okay, we're good. Let me see. Okay, no errors. Thank God. All right. P please choose one of these options. Okay, M C E. Vowel input. Okay, good. Two. Okay. We're doing good so far. How many you want? Ah, uh, I forgot the parentheses. <laughs> oh, well, we'll fix that later. Yes, how many wish to buy? Let's buy three. All right, we're good. Let's do cherries. Let's do no. It goes back to an option. Let's cancel. Oh, yeah, I forgot to cancel. Uh, okay, I see now cancel the whole program but yeah I'll fix that later on the next tutorial or next video or try to say that okay well stay tuned for my next tutorial hope hopefully you liked it stay tuned